Hello, my name is Dr. Chris Coker, and this is Christian Web MD. The topic at hand is insulin, obviously a mainstay treatment for diabetes. However, I do get a lot of questions about the different kinds of insulin, and we'll go over that here briefly in this video. As I said, insulin is used for the treatment of diabetes. I don't like putting people on insulin. It has some side effects, including bringing blood sugars too low. You have to have multiple shots, honestly, many shots a day in some cases. And honestly, it's associated with hardening of the arteries. However, high blood sugar is associated with that as well at a higher rate. But unfortunately, in some cases, all the pills in the world simply won't bring blood sugars down in some patients. And therefore, we have to use insulin. There are three different types of insulin. And those types are based on how long they last in the bloodstream. We have the short-acting insulins, the intermediate-acting insulins, and therefore the long-acting insulins. The short-acting insulins include Novolog, Epidra, and Humalog, and regular insulin. They take about 20 to 30 minutes to start working, and they last anywhere from 3 to 6 hours on average. Oftentimes you'll see these used right before meals, although some of them are now being used during meals or even right after meals in the case of Epidra. The intermediate insulin is NPH, or Humulin N. It takes about two to four hours to get going. It can last seven or eight hours. So it's good for a twice a day regimen. And that's pretty standard, as most people's bodies make about two thirds of the insulin in the morning and about one third of their day's insulin in the evening. Therefore, a twice daily regimen seems to make sense for a lot of people. There are a couple types of insulin that are long acting, and these include Levomir and Lantus. Levomir and Lantus supposedly last for about 24 hours, and I do believe that Lantus lasts a little longer than Levomir. They are once a day, and oftentimes are given at night, although some doctors, including myself, often give them in the morning. One of the drawbacks to them, however, is sometimes they don't quite last 24 hours and they seem to peter out towards the end of the 24-hour cycle. That can be a challenge at times for physicians. There's more information about diabetes in other sections of Christian WebMD. Please remember that this video is for educational use only and is not to be used to diagnose or treat any disorder, including diabetes. Consult with your physician if you have questions about insulin or if you have questions about the treatment of diabetes. Thank you for watching Christian Webb.